one of the really key things that happened to me um, in the aftermath of that relationship ending was that I was uh, lucky enough to go um, overseas and I went on a, sort of a, a kind of crazy odyssey to, to Europe, um, which was one of the best experiences of my life, you know. Um, and it was kind of the best thing because I had that feeling as soon as I got on the plane of like, of suddenly the world was open. Hearing, you know, ancient Gregorian chants and sacred and sitting there and taking all in and feeling like my whole, the whole axis of my world had kind of been uprooted and, and, and turned around and um, anything was possible. And as these things inevitably happen, I, I met a girl um, in, in Berlin of all places. Um, I was uh, at a bar, um, and, and when I say I met a girl, it was very innocent, you know, it's not, didn't have this, you know, crazy love affair like, like some people do when they're, when they're on the rebound, I guess. Um, but I was in, a, in an underground 90s techno fusion bar in, in Berlin and um, don't ask me how I got there um, and the whole thing was like like that movie Hostel you know when you first go in it was like there was like three layers to it and I was quite scared when I walked in I was too scared to go for the bathroom for a long period of time because I thought someone would jump out and knife me in the back um, and hold me hostage and torture me for, for three days um, but I went up to the bar and there's video screens and everyone's kind of smoking you know like marijuana openly which I was like whoa um, and I started drinking, and I was wearing the scarf, and I must have dropped it. And I felt this tap on my shoulder, and I turned around, and there's these two uh, very kind of beautiful girls standing there. And, and she says, uh, one one of the girls says, "I think is this yours? I think you, I think you dropped this." I said, "Yes, that's my scarf. Thank you." Um, and we began to chat, and I said, "Where are you guys from?" And I said, "Well, we are from Brazil," and um, I never met, you know, any. I never met a Brazilian girl before, let alone two. And so they started to tell me about where they're from, and, and so we had this sort of great conversation, this very easy conversation about, um, you know, what I should do if I ever get to Brazil, you know, as you inevitably do with, with strangers that you met, you know, one of the first things abroad that you sort of talk about is oh, what you must do when you go to their country. So we spent a long time talking about that, and I was feeling very kind of on fire, you know, it was kind of like the first time I'd really had that identity of being uh, single uh, and um, yeah it was the first time I really since my relationship had, had broken down and ended it was the first time I'd really kind of defined myself as single again although I still felt vaguely weird about saying that I wasn't ready to move on but there was definitely an intent there uh, that developed through the course of this conversation that hadn't existed previously um, and so I um, had this overwhelming feeling like you know, you know those moments, you know, when you just feel like there's this, I don't know how to describe it, like, 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 um, I want to say magic, but it's, it's terrible, and it's not, it is kind of magic, but th those moments where you just feel so at peace in a room with someone, and you feel so beautiful, and you feel feel that they're so beautiful and there's it's it's you know pretty dissect and say well you know it's the, the chemical brain chemistry connecting to this and your body's on fire to want to have intercourse with this person but it doesn't feel like that to me you know it feels like just peace really just peace and I and I love that with her and I had this overwhelming thing of like this moment is perfect I really want to I want to kiss you and I just sort of, I remember just sort of like smiling at her and stopping and just not being able to chat for a second and she just said, do it. And so I, I kissed her and we started kissing in the middle of this crazy bar and we ended up kissing all night and gave her a head massage and then I stumbled out very early the next morning into, well it was actually about like 8 30 in the morning by the stage, I stumbled out to this sort of blazing uh, Berlin day and I ended up walking two hours in the wrong direction um, towards, um, in completely opposite direction to my, my um, hostel and 
I sort of have a feeling like anything could happen that day, you know, I could have walked into some doorway and then never come back, or I could have, yeah, met the woman I was going to marry from the other side of the world, or, or any of those things that were possible, and it was really kind of a, a truly liberating and amazing time um, in my life.